V'at anavu levar al pasuk v'ishma Yisro Kohen Mejan. And now we can come to explain the verse that Yisro heard, he was the, who is the Kohen Mejan. L'chor akasha, that at first glance, it, there's a question, Sh'ashem Yisro hutaklis shlemuso, that the name Yisro, who is, is, is the, already implies in a complete concept of Yisro, Sh'ayidei shniskarev l'shchino, that through him, uh, drawing close to the Shekhinah and, and he said now I know that Hashem is great and he added a portion to the Torah and he was called Yisro uh, because he added an extra portion to the Torah like we said before you have a greatness because of him of, from the Chachma of uh, Klippa to the Chachma of Kedusha and so forth so um, Kohen um, Midjan how? Why is it also calling him the uh, the uh, the Kohen of Midian, like we said, which is uh, the language of fighting and and division? That he was a uh, priest to Avodah Vegama and also what is the uh, what what is the father-in-law of Moshe here? And so the concept is Shabbos Shem Yisro. So before we explained that Moshe married Zipporah, but what is it? What is the concept of the Chosen Moshe? The concept is Shem that Yisro is the concept of the greatness of light that happens in the supernal wisdom Atma, greater than the level of the supernal wisdom itself, not just the inclusion of what's below into Chachmila, but there's also a greatness of Chachmila beyond Chachmila. And this greatness to Chachmila happens from the purification of the foolishness, Shubichinus Kohen Midjan Hanal, which is the Kohen Midjan, Lechen Amar Yisro Kohen Midjan. And that's why it also added an addition to the concept of Yisro. Also, the idea of Kohen Midjan, which refers to the purification of the Sikhlus with of, of, of in Chachma de Kedusha to elevate Chachma of Kedusha itself to a higher level. That this greatness happens through the purification and the elevation of the wisdom of Klippa, through its inclusion in, in holiness, through Yisro. Understanding the greatness of Hashem, when the sikhlos and the foolishness also understands Hashem and is included within the holiness of wisdom, that it, when it hears that Hashem took us out of Mitzrayim and so forth, and so that's the, the idea of the father in law of Moshe, because the Torah is called the Torah of Moshe, and it says the day of his wedding. Is the giving of the Torah shenikra matan Torah al shem chasen that matan Torah the giving of the Torah is connected with the concept of chasen in this context also chosen that which is chus darga which is to go down a level shuhu yiridus v'islapshus chachmila lamat basia which is the, the the descent and enclosement of the supernal wisdom below into the world of asia. How is it in Matan Torah you have this descent into uh, into the physicality? This, this greater light that's drawn into the supernal wisdom. That that's the idea of Yisro, of adding a light into, into the Chachmilah. That's why it's called, so to speak, the father of Moshe, the father-in-law. He's giving to Moshe from above, Kolomer Chosin, who apol lebechinas chus darga, that he is the one Chosin, the father-in-law is the one who causes the descent of wisdom, Kamo Michael Mashke Chulu, like and in this descent uh, is like going into food, food and drink and so forth. Varisi bas bechinas chus darga, and what's the cause of this descent? Nimshach ne bechinas Yisro 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 Haor Kanal. It's coming through the the idea of Yisro, who's this greatness of the light from the darkness. That going into the darkness, you have an extra light, and Yisro causes this. 
Now the idea of everything that Elohim did to Moshe. Uh, now, why does it use the name Elohim here? So it says that uh, the sun and its sheath is Hashem and Elohim. Um, is a, a like a shield and a sheath that covers and hides who has to and that's why the concept of covering like it says on that day I'm going to hide my countenance that's drawn from the name of Elohim because Elohim is a covering that's why the main uh, difficulty in the exile of Mitzrayim was 86 years. That from the um, from the birth of Miriam, the peva is the gematria Elohim. So from the birth of Miriam, which was 100. Um, 24 years, and after that 124 years, you had 86 more years. After they came to Mitzrayim, that from the birth of Miriam, that's when you had the bitterness starting. So that's the Gematria of Elohim Yidu Agamkin, Shikol, Masha Zachul Yisrael, Matan Toru Hu Al Yidei, Galos Mitzrayim, and it's known that all that they merited in Israel by the giving of the Torah is through the uh, exile of Mitzrayim Shnekra Kura Barzel that the Navi calls the crucible of, of, of iron, like until like, like Mishle says that there's a a a, um, a, 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 a pot of, of, of purifying the, the silver and a core. Another kind of uh, purification pot for for gold. So vainu kedelihios hagosigi mikesef. That is, uh, uh, in, in order to, like the pasuk says, take out the dregs from the silver. Shakorhu mafrid asigim. That the the this pot of uh, uh, this crucible separates the dregs. Dainu shelo yehiataro tar. A pesolus because of vizav to have a um, the leftovers in the silver and gold v'kachu mitzrayim and so too it is in Egypt shizich ches Yisrael al yidi koshi yashibud that through this burning in the crucible it purified Yisrael uh, through the the difficulty of the uh, subjugation, with mortar and bricks, lihios nifrod hara min hatov, to separate the bad from the good. Shai de shara ose puulos haraos who call eveneva that through the bad doing, um, uh, bad actions, it it goes away. It uh, like uh, Hashem says, I'm going to th throw my arrows at you of the nations, um, and uh, but but they're going to go away. But I'm calling, but you're not going to go away. Meaning to say that through the bad sh doing its thing and causing its bad act, then that's when it dis that that's it gets used up and and goes out of existence. And like the marshal of the Leech that after it sucks all the blood that it can, it dies. That's the muscle, and uh, so so um, through going through the difficulties of gulls, the evil uses itself up, and we're left with with uh, a state of more purity. And through Israel being purified, so that also purifies the entire world. And then you can have the enclosement of Torah into the physical, uh, into the, the physical 
world of Asiya to draw it down further, to draw the Torah further down. That's why Matan Torah was dependent upon Golos Mitzrayim, that through the purification of the world, you can draw the Torah further down into this world. Which is not the case before that. In the days of the forefathers of the world was not yet purified for this. So you could not include the Torah into the physical, like it says in another place. So all this that they merited, revelation of godliness and the giving of the Torah, so it's drawn through the name of Elohim. That's why it says in the beginning of this of the beginning of this parsha that Yisro heard everything that Elohim did. And it's because of, of Elohim, like like we explained. Like it says that today to do them and tomorrow to receive the reward. That receiving the reward happens because we're doing this work now. But in the time of reward, the action is not in a revealed state. So it's when it says that everything that Elohim did to Moshe and Yisrael, that the actual act that through which we merit to have this revelation of godliness, this is through the name of Elohim, that from Elohim came this crucible of uh, uh, of iron, to purify their uh, souls, the Ha'olam Canal and and the, and the world. Like we said, that Hashem took Israel out of Mitzrayim. That the actual taking out of Mitzrayim and um, the revelation of divinity, specifically from the name of Avaya, that it's that the actual Elohim of it is not felt when you actually get to the reward, you don't have to be in Gullus anymore once you get the reward, it's just that the purification process from which you get the Gula comes from the Elohim. And that's why you, you have this statement, that Elohim spoke to Moshe and said, I am Hashem, the Kula, the that is all one, that the, the Elohim said that that um, I am Hashem. That the cruci- that the same Hashem from which the uh, crucible is coming from for the purification. That's the same Hashem that's going to be in the reward. That it's all one Hashem. That first comes the purification process, and that's a revelation of the name of Elohim. And afterwards, you get to the le- the idea of the reward, which is the name of Havaya. Because the, all the hiding, its only purpose is, is afterwards to get to a state of revelation. And just like through the darkness, you have a greatness of uh, of light that comes afterwards. And was as was explained before.